Yo, what's up? It's DNA, and this video is about value, how to get it, what it is, what it isn't, and how not to get it. Now, value to me is, from what I can tell, the most important aspect in human psychology and uh, relations, relationships, <laughs> relationship psychology and therapy and all of that. Um, people, a lot of, you hear a lot of gangsters and a lot of rappers say that they would die for their respect and they would do anything for respect and, um, who got them nines and, <laughs> that's a 3 6 Mafia song, but they say this because they, uh, they want you to acknowledge their value. That's what respect is. Respect is... It comes from you valuing yourself and respecting yourself. Respect is when you consider someone else's um, mind state, someone's level of comfort, someone's opinion, somebody's uh, space, somebody's physical state, somebody's emotional state. When you take all of those things into consideration, when you consider someone's boundaries, and um, value gives life to that. When you value yourself, you're telling, you're letting other people know that you're more than what you have. When you value yourself, you're able to give value to other things. You're able, you're a creator you have something in you that cannot be taken away from you or given to you from the outside world and what that is is not having a big ego a lot of people mistake ego for having core confidence and having real value when that's not the case a lot of people glorify that especially in this country and especially in our culture as Americans and everybody's culture basically so what an ego is is when you get your value from other from material things from other sources from things that shouldn't make a person like they say the clothes the man makes the clothes not the other way around and um, an ego is something that is the most primal or the lowest form of value. Where the ego comes from is when you're first born, um, say a three-year-old, you had your first memory the year prior as a two-year-old and uh, now you're searching for your identity. When you're born, you don't have the ego or confidence. All you have is, is value. All you have is potential and value. So what you do as a three-year-old, what we all did is totally natural and it happens to everybody. You identify your outside world to gain your identity. You identify, okay, this is a chair, this is hot, this is my mom, this is my dad, this is my grandma, these are my cousins, and how they respond to you. That's where you get your identity from. Eventually, that's supposed to dissolve and be replaced with confidence. That's how it works. And for a lot of people, that never happens. Or they start to relive that they get lost. And they have to identify themselves through the material things or through who they interact with giving them value. And that's not confidence. That's not how it's supposed to go. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I don't know who said it. I should probably look this up. But they said um, freedom is freedom is having nothing to lose. And what that means is you're supposed to get your, your, your value, your core confidence from yourself. Because if you have all the money in the world, you have millions of dollars, and you have... 
17 cars and three mansions and all these material things, if you lose all of that and your identity is extended through these material things, that you will essentially lose your life and you might as well kill yourself and you probably will if you feel that strongly about these material things. A lot of successful people out there who I've read books on and when I've read books on success and saw and in watched interviews, they all say basically the same thing, that if they were to lose all these material things, that it wouldn't affect them. It would affect them to the point where they felt like they didn't have material things, basically. And that if they lost all their cars, all their money, all their clothes, all their image, if, they, if the world woke up today, tomorrow, and didn't recognize these people's faces that they would be able to build that empire back they would be able to get all those material things back without a doubt and what that is is core confidence that's not that's having a small ego they identify themselves and they don't see themselves as a car as a money uh, as money as all these assets and things that they built with their confidence and that's what that's what value does when you say something is valuable you say that it's it's worth something of course but everything comes from people having value think of confidence and value as money think of it as material things and yourself everything starts with thought and all these people who have these thoughts combine it with their value combine it with their core confidence and they materialize they manifest these things people who have money people who have cars people who have a girlfriend it's not even always about money people who have friends that's valuable to a lot of people they felt like they were worthy to get those things they felt like they were valuable enough to be able to handle having these things and they knew that they could bring that to life they knew that they could bring that to this world and they knew that if it was taken away that they would still be who they are and that is not a lot of that's not the case for a lot of people people have things and their whole life is put into these material things and without it there would be nothing and those people are nothing. They are. They're, they're cars. They're money. That's what they really are. That's what they literally are. They're not people. They're the they're extensions of their success is what they are. And if you take all that away, they'll be nothing. And they'll die soon, quick, fast, without those things. Um... The next thing about value is that uh, you should never take it from anybody. You should never try to make anybody feel worthless or pathetic because you're just feeding your ego. You're showing other people that you are not valuable, that you're not worthy and how much you respect yourself. And that is the whole thing about value is getting respect because that's what it really is. is you respecting your worthiness and other people showing you that you are worthy. And it's not about other people reacting to you. That's something that I really am against. But... It's not, it's not about that, but that's gonna happen. People are mirrors. People are, they come from the same source as you. People are gonna show you what you tell yourself. People are gonna show you what you eat. People are gonna show you everything about yourself, even if they don't mean to do it. That's what they, that's what people do because that's what is supposed to happen. 
how people treat you are a reflection of what amount of value that you have or how big your ego is if you have a lot of friends fake friends and you have a big ego they're only going to see that this guy is just a car this guy's just money they're going to show you that you're not anything but a bank hmm <clears throat> Yeah, I just thought about something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that kind of knocked me off my, my game a little bit. But people are going to also show you how they feel about themselves. For example, there's a, a nice little chill bar right by my house that I like to go to. And it's for older people. It's very a very chill environment. It, the bar is big, the whatever. There, there's pool tables, it's nice, and uh, people are genuinely happy and in a good mood when they go there. It's not one of those, it's not a sports bar, it's just a nice, a relaxed place to be. And when I go there, I get, I don't look like I'm just coming from fucking wherever. <laughs> I get dressed up and I go a little dressed up and go. and. Like I said, it's for younger, I mean, older people. And when I walk in, heads turn. I'm not trying to be like that, but people look at me like I'm fucking stupid. And they show me who they really are. They show me that they're uncomfortable with me being there because that's their cool little chill spot. And it's for people that's their age. And they look at me like, okay, what, what makes you feel so entitled that you should be hanging around with us when I have my youngest child is your age and they show me that they feel so horribly about themselves and they're so insecure that if somebody who feels that they should be able to interact in their circle or survive on in their world on their level they show me that that's not okay with them because now I'm making them feel old that's what they show me, and I, I'm sorry that they feel like that, but you gotta boost your own shit. I don't know to tell you, bro. Like in my, like in my emotions and habits video, that is, that's something that I can't control. I can give other people value all they want, but I'm not gonna do that because I, it's just hurting them. I'm doing them a disservice by validating their fucking false beliefs and something that is a bad habit that's gonna ultimately kill them. I'm fucking them up and that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, so I'm gonna go over what I've discussed. Value is something that you give yourself that you don't take from other people because that's just gonna boost your ego and ego is not good if you wanna be the person who you wanna be. Um, you need to be able to lose everything that you have and, and be able to survive. Because if you feel like that you're nothing but a car, you're nothing but a money, you're nothing money, you're nothing but a money source, you're nothing but a diploma, then you are really you're really nothing. And that's not good. You wanna be something. That's why you're watching this video. You have to build things that you're comfortable with losing. You have to be it's not even about that. You have to be comfortable enough with yourself to feel like if you lost all those things that you wouldn't it wouldn't lead to your self-destruction you wouldn't die you have to get your value from yourself and don't take value from other people don't be a dick build some shit that that makes other people feel valuable take it put the seed in your mind add your self-respect to your confidence to it and it will ground itself and manifest and materialize whatever you want to call it Respect other people, respect yourself. And if you need to, fake it till you make it. Ha. Hi, right, it's DNA. Follow me on Twitter at DNA Yes4. Peace.